everyone and I hope you're all well. I'm just looking at the footing I made last week and it's lovely and hard and set and I have blocks here ready to lay but it's so windy today I really don't want to be shoveling cement because the dust will be flying everywhere. So I've got lots of things to be doing in the house but I've just came to check on this and I've noticed there's a lot of snail shells here that the starlings and blackbirds have cracked open against the stone path. It's fascinating to come across them. They crack them open to eat the snails inside. So I have lots to do in the house but I thought I'd pop out while it's sunny because we've had a lot of showers today and I just want to grab some rosemary. Um, I'm sending it off to my daughter. And I just want to get some flowers for the house. So I'm going to head over here for the artichokes. So today's film is really a bit of everything because um, I've been thwarted in what I wanted to do because of the wind. Wow! These are Jerusalem artichokes. I think they're called um, sunchokes in America very medicinal and we use the tubers so I'll be doing a video on this uh, when I dig them up but for now I'll just take some of the lovely flowers and that one is all ready okay then so it's too windy out here for me because the wind just drains my energy. So as I can't work outside, it's a day of creating inside. Now I've been knitting, so come into the house, I'll show you what I'm making. So I, when I was in primary school, we were taught how to sew and I've made a lot of my own clothes over the years. So I have some fabric here that I'm going to make a dress with and it's a perfect day for creating because I can't really do anything outside. So it's a good opportunity to be able to catch up on the, those kind of chores inside. So this as well is something I'm hoping to be creative with. I bought this at a festival years, a few years back it is a skirt and it had a ruched um, elasticated bodice which was really a horrible um, garment. So I took off the ruched top and I discovered that the skirt is, is a double skirt. So I'm going to cut off one half, the smaller half, and that will be the sleeves to a tunic that is just about the right length and width. So that's my next little job. But first of all, I want to finish my knitting. So here I'm making a little shawl and that's what it should look like when it's finished. And I'm just coming up to the last um, finishing rows. I've got about four rows to do and it'll be finished. So I think um, for me anyway, I like to be creative out in the garden. Um, mainly you know that co-creativity that you have with your garden the garden determines a lot of what happens and I'm basically just going along planting where I can so it's not as if I'm being a hundred percent creative out there it's a joint effort but here it's all my own work and um, funnily enough we were just listening to somebody on YouTube the other day who was saying that as human beings on this planet it's our duty really to be creative because that's what we are we are manifestors and um, it's a divine experience really and it is you know when I make little things for the house or I make myself a dress there's such a sense of satisfaction and fulfillment from it that um, I just find it really enjoyable anyway. 
So I'm just going to finish these few rows and I'll show you what it looks like. I know lots of people are recycling and repurposing, which is brilliant. But when you stop to also factor in your own creativity in that in that um, process, it just makes it feel even better. So last stitch to cast off here, and then there is a new garment in the world. And this knitted up so quickly; it took me about three to four hours. I didn't do it all in one go, but you know. I, 10 minutes here and half an hour there. I'd say it was about three and a half to four hours. And here it is. So it's just a little shoulder wrap really. So it would just go on like that. Perfect for an evening out or for reading in bed on a chilly evening. And um, there you go. So I'm going, because it knits up so quickly, I'll make another one for my friend Anita and another one for my daughter. And I might make another one for myself in a different colour. But before I get started on the sewing, I'm just, while we've got a window of opportunity with no rain, I'm just going to dash outside and collect some hawthorn berries to create a tincture. So in between the showers, I'm just going to nip out and get the hawthorn berries and then I can create a medicine. So it's all about creativity here today. So have a great week yourself and I'll see you next Sunday. I hope you enjoyed today's film. If you did, subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. And have a look at the website, danusirishherbgarden.com, for more information about us and about the herbal medicine courses I offer and the Wise Woman Way training. And if you go to the shop, you can find the books, the weed handbooks and other herbal goodies. And remember, we put a new film out every Sunday. So looking forward to seeing you next week.